Hey guys, uh, just wanted to um, make, just wanted to, um, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't even care that much. Um, just wanted to make a video about whether or not water is wet. Um, I think it is because it has the property of passing wetness on to other things. Uh, there was an, a suggestion that water cannot be wet because the water itself is surrounded by other water molecules and so it would not be wet, it would be submerged, right? Um, the issue with that is, is wetness is defined as having a thin coat of water molecules surrounding the object. Now, a water molecule itself is an object and even if it has water surrounding that thin coat, there is still a thin coat surrounding each water molecule. Therefore, that water molecule is wet. Now, obviously this doesn't break the structure of the argument because the argument suggests that it being in the conditions of being surrounded by water makes it so that it is not within the conditions desired to be called wet. However, I believe that because water itself passes on the property of wetness and a single molecule can be surrounded by a thin film of other molecules, that that water is still wet. I don't think anyone can beat this argument because if I submerge a can inside of a pool, that, pool, that can is submerged, but the property it has, the property it has while it's submerged, even underneath the water, is that it has a film of H2O particles surrounding its entire surface. Now, I don't want to make the distinction of saying entire surface, but water molecules have made contact with and filmed the entire object. Therefore, the entire object has been given wetness via that film. Now, the wetness can be greater defined if I pull the can out and take it away from its submerged state to see that there is still water dripping off of the can. However, the wetness itself is less correlated with whether or not it's occurring within a body of fluid or not, and more whether or not it is coating an object. Wetness is the coating of an object. And so, in order to break that structure of an argument that is, if it's surrounded by water, it's submerged, one has to ask why the amount of water surrounding an object changes whether or not it's considered wet or submerged. I believe That while submerged is a real term that matters in this discussion, that it does not change whether or not something is wet. Because all that's needed for something to be wet is a coat of fluid. Even if when it's submerged, we cannot define it by its lack of submersion. <laughs> um, in, in, uh, so yeah, pretty much water is wet. Yeah. No one can beat this argument, and I should have done this years ago. I just didn't. I didn't care because I was too busy. I was too busy doing cool stuff that you would never even think of. So yeah. You guys want to see me swim? Watch this. this finger dry right quick so let me just go where the sun is oh man i think this is i think i was supposed to do this back then and i missed like my mark but it's okay it'll be fine